I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Sleep tight. Robo pig! Why do you have to spoil our fun all the time? You metal freak! this be fixed don't hold your breath OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment what seems to be the problem <sighs> my damn locker won't open can you try Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker I wanted you to be safe out there yeah, you guys, very fun. There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. Why don't you take a seat for me?
That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Good job you had Murphy in with you. You bet. Without him, we'd all be goners. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you.
the right. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the briefing room. Murphy, could you please help me out here? What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are off of the work. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? No, but I will let you off with a warning. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog in all of Detroit. Next, please. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? You can hope for a reduced sentence. Uh, that's not the reward I was hoping for, but I'll take it. It'd be good to get back to jail. Life is a free man can retire. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh, no. Thanks for the help, Murphy. So, what's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. It's no secret. The crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. 
Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all, all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. I found a dumpster behind the mega store. I got 15 bucks for it. Quiet, unless you want to lose them. No short-term investments. Not in this market. We're looking at an annual return of 9.2% if you diversify your portfolio based on the volatility report. Deferred profit shares are where it's at. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But... but you're homeless. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. I will let you go this time, but remember, 
but drinking in an unsuitable environment can lead to severe consequences. Well, that's the whole point. Oh, really, man? You're my best friend. I love you. You really mean that? <laughs> oh, man, you're the best, I swear. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX-6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? I do not mean to obstruct anyone's work, but fulfilling my duties takes priority. Then why aren't you out there on the streets where a real crime is happening, instead of badgering hard-working citizens? Is car theft not a real crime to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look.
And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it, but nearly every month he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life, and where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. Oh God, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God! It must be those thugs! We're dead! No one is gonna save us! If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? You can- Oh shit! It's the metal- <laughs> How about I show you for this? Give him all you can! <laughs> you shot me!
You did it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs! They were looking for me! They realized I tricked them! They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! So, uh, what, what you gonna do? You, you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? You are being fined $100 for the violation that you have committed. Are you crazy? I, I don't work. How am I supposed to pay for this? Failing to pay may result in serious consequences for your guardians. That's an uncool move you pulled right here. I'll make sure everyone in the hood knows your score.
I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! Coming up, is your air freshener secretly killing you? Find out at 11. Could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's Let brand go. new! I've only stole... Thanks, officer. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dopehead buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. Uh, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet.
Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Could you advise me how a person who would like to try nuke should go about it? You're hoping to get your first bag for free? No way! I'm selling at half price anyway! But wait, your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn. What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're gonna get. Start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed.
Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! man why did you do that what am i gonna sell now there are serious charges against you maurice however you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs or i can jump into that pile of garbage below a few bruises is better than jail do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that i know the hood better than you do cop so try some different talk or I'll jump. You can die. The likelihood that the jump will not be fatal is 9%. And that was supposed to convince me? 9 out of 10 is almost a short thing! See ya!